Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, the Juicy Juicy, brought to you by the Department of Howard Vapors. Now, the free I want to show you today is be part one of a two part review on the brand new Nick Salts range from Fat Fog. Yes, Fat Salt 20 has landed. Have got to stay for the record. Any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I did not pay for the product. I am not being paid to do this review. These were very kindly sent to me by Fat Fog and Trudy Distillery for review purposes. Of course, state individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. My weapon of choice today will be the Aspire Sprite. And that has got the 1.8 coil in it and it knocks out round about 12 watts. We'll start off with labels and all the gibbons and safety features first, and then I'll crack on to the actual review. Um, also got to state there will be a couple of jump cuts in this today. I don't normally do them. As a general rule, you know I'll go start to finish. Any fuck-ups and that will be included there. There will be a couple in here due to the fact that I've got to kind of empty the pod out to put the next one in. So I've just got to state that there. Don't worry, I'm not turning into Rip Tripper before you all go, oh, Christ, what's he done? Um... Labels, anyway, I'm going to be a bit rambly. I've had four coffees. <laughs> and it's starting to show. Anyway, um, labels. Labels, there's nothing. Uh, it's basically, it does exactly what it needs to do. You've got the name. You've got your wonderful bit at the bottom. This product contains nicotine, which is an addictive substance. Up your ass. Not as addictive as you keep on trying to make out it is. Uh, we've got... Warning labels on here, harmful if swallowed, wash hands, thoroughly after handling, do not eat, drink, or smoke when using the product. You, you can eat. You can drink. Let's <laughs> be honest here. Um, what else have we got on here? I've got the... Toxic diamond and also very smally, but that is there. They're not for sale for under 18s. We've also got the fact that this is a fifth. It tells you there that the VG PG ratio that's not going to focus save his ass is a 50 50 for this. All right, on, on the uh, ingredients now, this is one thing I don't quite get. Um, these are Nick salts. So it's, 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 it's basically nicotine that has had an, either the NS or the BA acid added to it to um, actually enhance the absorption rate and also to make it a smoother vape because some people can't do 50-50 because of the throat hit they get from it or anything lower than that in the VG stakes. But I've looked and I look at a lot of these now and... Um, on the ingredients, I mean, we've got VG, PG, natural artificial flavourings, and contains nicotine, which is 10 milliliter of a 200 milligram. So, obviously, you divide that by that, and then it comes out that this is a 20 milligram nicotine strength. I've got to state this, because Nick Salts gets a bit confusing on sometimes. Sometimes they will give you the Nick Salt level. Other times, they will actually give you what the nicotine strength level is. This is telling you it is a 20 milligram nicotine strength. So you're probably looking at for a 36 nick salt level. Because obviously, the, the molecules in a nick salt are heavier than in just pure nicotine. But this is telling you it is a 20 milligram nicotine strength. And the nick, the nick salts that they're using in here, because they have teamed up with Element... Pretty damn good, I've got to say. I have had other Element Nixon stuffs before, and I am kind of glad that this company is now joined with them to launch this. Give it a proper. As you can see, also I've got to state that this is a TPD compliant bottle as well. That is why you have got a 10 mil with 20 milligram Nick strength in it. It is TPD compliant. We've got also as industry standard childproof lid, as it bloody should be for anything, and that goes out for all short fills as well. We've got a tamper ring here. It is a simple, I have opened this one before, but it is a simple just crack and open. A nice thin but long nozzle there, so it does get into um, pod systems and all the other oaks and the um, mouth to lung section. <coughs> but because there's something, as I was going about rambling a little bit, sorry, on the actual ingredients front. I'm quite surprised because there's something added to the nicotine to make it a nick salt. It doesn't come up on the 
ingredients list. So it's just might be a little full build mine, but it's awesome. Um, other safety features we've got something on here. You can just see that in the light there at this bit here. We have got the raised triangle. So people of restricted sight can just pick up the bottle, fill that and go, yeah, maybe that's not my eye drops or, or something like that. They, they, they know it's not something that they should drink. It, could, it is a potentially toxic substance in there. Right. Um, also, because to save on a box and the AA in road, the A4 roadmap that you start to get in some of these with all the instructions and warnings on the inside. This is a peel off sticker. This is a peel around. And it's now not going to do it. There we go. It's very well stuck on. I will say that. It's incredibly well stuck on. But it's one of these. And all the stuff is on the bottle to save you having to have another box and bloody leaf like that. You're just going to bung in the bin after you first read it. Anything on here? We've got uh, basically it's all the potential and possible side effects on there, which covers their arse. But yeah, all in all, I'm generally quite happy with that one. It's one bit, as I say, one bit I still don't quite understand is since there is something added to the nicotine, should that be on the ingredients list? But this is TPT compliant, so obviously they're not as as long as it's 20 milligram nicotine. It seems they're happy. Anyway, right, I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off with the fat current. Um, the other two I'll have a pop at today will be the fat mango. And last but not least in this section, Fat G. Alright, but I'm going to start off with a fat current. I have to admit, I'm still a little bit in two minds about this sprite. I don't want to put too much in here because <coughs> I'm going to have to just get really use up more before we go on to the next part of the review. Here we go. Let's see what it's like. First off, it's a 50-50. Not putting a lot of power through this. And I've got the air flow on this one quite down, so I get a nice tight draw. Gotta say, I like the original range. The black currant did kind of taste like Ribena, and I did really like this. The flavour has changed slightly with this, with the Nixalts, but it's now coming across like a very juicy fruit pastel, black currant fruit pastel. I've got no qualms on that. The flavour is still good, but it has changed a, a little bit. But it's changed in a good way. It's changed to a flavour I liked anyway. Cloud production is absolutely fine. I mean, I've got that. I'm basically on a gnat's chuff at the moment. I'll just open up the airflow a tad. I don't want to do it too much because obviously it's 20 milligram Nixol. Well, 20 milligram nicotine strength in a Nixol form. And it will take my head off. But here we go. I've opened it up a bit. Actually, yeah. yeah. This does appreciate the airflow being a little bit more open, just to get that coil a little bit warmer. But wow, it is full on flavour. <coughs> it seems to be a problem I have with some Nick salts. Um, I remember what they were like with just free base nicotine in them, and then I tried them with Nick salts in them, and the flavour's gone a bit. Ooh, what's happened there? That ain't great. Happy to report that hasn't happened with this range. Well, I say this range, I've only done one so far. But I'm happy to say that that hasn't happened with this one. It is a full-on black currant flavour. That's nice. And it's very smooth on the throat. There's no throat hit to this. Which, considering there's 20 milligram of nicotine, or should be feeling it. You do feel the absorption rate hang over. That does, it gets, it, you feel it going in. That, that little, little spike of nicotine going into you. Oh, hello. So it's doing this job there, and it's nice and smooth on them as well. So that's a bonus. The other thing that's good for these is 
these do help new starters. I mean, if a new starter is struggling on free, not free milligrams, obviously, but I mean the free base nicotine, then just, just nicotine by itself, these do help. Because it kind of gives you that little thing that you used to have when you had a cigarette. That gives you that instant, oh, I felt that going in, and you can feel it just going in. Whereas, because it's a slower absorption rate through just um, free base nicotine, some people that just doesn't work. So it's all these are these are great for new starters. I mean, I forgot to mention these are also available as um, excuse me, Aspire Gusto Pod Systems refills as well. So you'll get so many in a pack. Finish your pod, take it off, put the new one in. So it takes away a lot of faff. faff. New starters do not need faff. And we're still finding shops that are going for the money and not necessarily to help that person get started on their vaping journey. Trying to sell them the most expensive cloud busting bit of crap that they do not need when they're first transitioning from cigarettes or to vaping. So yeah, the, these little devices, I mean, this is an AIO device because you can, you can open it up. It will take a 70-30. You don't get much flavour from it, admittedly, but it will take a 70-30. But no, I can't fault that at all. That is really, the flavour is still there. The flavour is strong in an Excel, which is good to see. I am starting to find some are starting to work it out and realising they might put an equal bit more flavour in it just to counteract that slight Nixol end into it. But no, I can't fault this at all. I'm going to be rambling even more because I'm having quite a lot of nicotine right now. <laughs> but yeah, can't fault that at all. Um... I'm going to go to empty the tank, so a bit of a quick little cut here, and I'll move on to the next one. See you in a little bit, people. And we are back. Uh, yes, yeah, so the quick blowout, so now I should move on to the next one. The next one, what should we do? What should we do? We're going to do the fat G. I do like great, as you can hear, I haven't opened this one yet. It's still sealed, so we'll just hit a little. There you go. That's the tampering done. Of course, if you buy and when buying this product, if in any way, shape, or form that tampering is broken, damaged, or missing, demand another one. It is there for your peace of mind. All right, so we just put a few drops in here. Get this going again. Oh, my pot system's been attacked. What's going on here? Yep, yeah, we're in. Oh, I tell you what. A little bung on that can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway. Here we go, Fat G. Whoa, Nixie, take away. No throat hit whatsoever on this one. The flavour is a very good grape. It's a really good grape. It's very much a sweetie one. <clears throat> now I can't remember if this one had a little bit of there it is. Kind of a little edge of um, sort of a spin on the grape here, but reminds me of there's this. Oh god, it's gone back a while. There's some sweets, and this tastes exactly like that. It's kind of slightly minty grape. It's a very subtle mint. There's, you, you, sometimes you don't pick it up on sometimes, but Really nice. So it's so smooth. That's the thing that I get about these. Smooth, but unusually for a high-end Nick Salt. So I mean the higher levels of of uh, Nick strength. Really full flavoured. Because normally you kind of get that ickle, that Nick taste, but not getting it with these. So another one I can't fault, as I say, Cloud Productions is exactly what we, well actually quite good for a 50-50 to be quite honest, but then it all depends on how much, if your system allows you to actually open it up. Oh, 
I've always liked it a little bit airy. I don't like it too tight. Misses. But no, once again, I can't fault it. The flavour is lovely. The Nick Salt element of it is doing its job. I'm getting really a lot of nicotine at the moment, so I'm definitely glad I'm only doing one more after this. And then I'm going to have to have that lie down for a little while. <laughs> but no, if you're a fan of... Oh, just trying to think of the flavour. Oh, uh, what are they, Moon Drops or something like that, I think they were called. But that reminds me exactly of that. And I can't... Ah, oh, that's the one. Oh, my God. Brain, C, coffee, nicotine. Ugh. That was the fat G. Um, yeah, really can't follow that at all. They've done a really good job with this. I think teaming up with Element was a very good move because Element has now do so many Nick Salts versions. I know they've got Vampire Vape, they've got loads of other companies now under their umbrella, and they also do, as I say, the refillable Gusto pods for, for the Aspire device. And um, so they're widely available. I'll be fair, I might have to just pick myself up a little Gusto device now. Probably make these reviews a little bit easier as well. No, I can't fault that at all. I'm going to have another little blowout and then I shall go on to the last one, which is the Fat Mango. Yes, it is the Fat Mango. Fucking hell. Oh, God, I shouldn't do these on a Sunday morning. Right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. And we're back and now have got the Fat Mango. As I say, when I did these original ones it, with just nicotine, I did kind of fall in love with the range. They were nice. And it's nice to see that the flavour quality has carried on in their Nick Salt range. And I'll just move that over there. Stick my bun back in. Oh. Remember where I left my device? There it is! And here we go. If it will go in. There we go. Yep, we're in. Ooh. Once again, throat hit, absolutely fine. Say, so considering it's 20 milligrams of nicotine, absolutely fine. Flavour, I've got to admit, it's quite a subtle mango on this one. Some of the other ones, they really just ram it in your face. This is actually quite a subtle mango. It's actually quite a nice. Quite a nice, subtle, refreshing mango coming from this. I am really now starting to feel the effects of Basically, chain chain vaping twenty milligram nick, but I can't. I mean, I wish stuff like this had been around when I first started. I mean, I, when I first started, let's put it yesterday yeah, else. I'm an old fart. When I first started, about seven years ago now, well, just over seven years now, um, all we really had was cigarettes, and that was just round about. I think when like the ego T. And all this lot was just starting to come out where you just had your 650 mile battery pen. You probably had either a, a, a C4 on top with the silica rope wicks. Mmm, fiberglass. Mmm, that was a good start. Or, because I had the, oh, I went from a single light, I went from the, um, oh, God, what do I have? E light. The E light one. And then went on to an ego tea, which basically you know, you kind of had done all this stuff. And then you actually put fill with that uh, one mil capacity up the top, and you kind of pierced it onto the heating element. <laughs> Leak like a bastard was an absolute motherfucker to actually get reload up with juice. I can juice everywhere, but it got me off the stinkies. New starters today with the plethora of devices now for them. You don't realise how good you got it. And you don't realise how much we used to pay for our devices because it was earlier on in the development and the rise of the e-cigarette. I hate that word. Of vaping. But you've got such a plethora of devices now to help you get off and to keep you off the stinkies. Flavour. 
flavor wise I can't fault this one again if you if you're a fan of mango I'd go for this one to be fair because it's subtle it's relaxed it's just an after dinner or while you're in the pub and every now and then a And to be fair, it's going to do you for a while as well, because you do feel that nick rush, which basically is what we all used to get as a cigarette. The other good thing I find with this sort of thing is, and this is where I think a lot of places are getting a little bit scared, is nick salts. Nick salts. Um, whereas, probably during a week, I'd probably go through 120, 150 for a week. Around about that. That would last me the week. <clears throat> because obviously I'm taking more nicotine into my system, so I'm getting the, all the nicotine in a, in a shorter dose. But I can see how that could scare some shops, especially the ones that are charging 20, 25 quid for 121. Uh, and people that go, well, do you know what? Here, come in, here, buy a couple of 120s a week, or here, buy 120 a week. That's 20 quid. And you're looking at that now, and they go, well, that's six quid. And I can see some shops getting a little bit about that. <laughs> but it is a good, it is another tool in the arsenal for the new starters. If Freebase isn't quite doing it for them, let them try that. It might be that step that gets them onto it. And after time, they might go, do you know what? I don't need so much. And then go down to the other ones. Or they might go, do you know what? I want to oh. I kind of like that. I don't really like the device. Oh, I'll get a bigger device. And then they would naturally come down in the next team levels anyway. Because they're reducing strength for quantity. I mean, I'm on a three. But I mean, I sub ohm on a three. So I'm probably getting about a nine. Six, oh, I'm probably getting a six to a nine. Because I've made, there's more volume going in. There's only a little volume going in here. But it's just a stronger concentrate. But yeah, once again, I can absolutely not fault that at all. If you're a fan of mango and you're a fan of the Nick Salts, give that one a go. That is Fat Salts, Fat Mango. Right, well that brings me to the end of part one. If you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please remember to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. And I shall be back really, really soon with part two. At some point, my ugly mug will be appearing here. Give us a slap and give us a sub. So I'm Barbara Self Downstone. Take care, people, and see you again real soon. See ya.